Well, let's talk about a, uh, another sort of craze in the 1970s. That was this craze for custom or, or conversion vans. Vans became very popular with folks, right, and at that uh, time period. We see it in the uh, TV shows and movies of the day, and we see it here at Motor Muscle with the 1977 Ford Econoline van, brought to us courtesy Tom Pendleton of Bowling Green, Ohio. The Model E250, the club wagon, we can see that says it on the trailing edge of the bodywork there, and the in the Ford nomenclature, I believe the 150 was the half ton, the 250 was the three quarter ton designation, the 350 naturally was, was the one ton. Uh, what we're looking at here, you know, just a, a, a you can say that the Chevy is a trailer hauling throwback from the 1970s. This is Shaggy right here. I believe I see some, uh, is that some shade carpeting on the interior as well? Shag everywhere, not just carpet. Ceiling to floor, wall, <laughs> not wall to wall, or wall and wall carpet or something, I guess. Huh? Unicarpeting, every yes. surface is covered with carpeting. But yeah, you saw this so much during the 70s, people customizing their vans and even dedicated magazines just for van customization and foreshadowing alert. I think you're going to see a, another one here in a few moments that kind of carries on that, that theme as well. But even little things like the extra, the aftermarket sunroof to help ventilate the cabin. Uh, the ladder in back so you can get up to access the uh, extra roof rack because I, I can't imagine running out of too much space in the van, but if you need extra carry, it is available there up on, up on the roof. Oh, is that another sunroof I see under there as well? Yeah, two sunroofs. If one is good, two is better. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Well, thank you for sharing Shaggy with us. Side of your van. I think this is a very, very nice <laughs> Number 590.